Okay, I'm just testing a few things out. This is the uh, anamorphic lens with the uh, Falcon Ike Ike Falcon uh, stabilizer. Just gonna take a walk around. Tell you what. Well, only worst thing is, is that's wet out there, and I ain't, I do not have the shoes for it. What we're gonna do? Make sure your door's unlocked. I just want to see how this footage is going to come out. I'm trying to prepare for, um, what do you want to call it? Setting this up for trying to do a channel for the YouTube. And this is the one that I have to, uh, shoo, what am I trying to say? It's uh, compressed and I have to squish it to show what we're doing out here. And there's the pile. This, this was a frame around this composting place right here and we're trying to bag it up. Sapphire helped me yesterday. We bagged three of them up. It's, you can see this ground out here, it's just nasty. I need to get something and do some drainage stuff in here. Here's something that's worth keeping. There's the other pile, uh, the wood for the other one. Of course, on this uh, camera, the and you can see the uh, other compost. You can see these trees back here. Trying to stay out of it. Like right there, just swampy right there. You mark that, cause uh, boy, is this, I'm just sinking in the ground here. Cause that one's kind of rotting away, it needs to be cut down. But boy, I tell you, it's just a mess. You can see back there. Nope, something kind of jumped on that. Some kind of. I must not have this stabilized very well. And there's some of the limbs that fell off this tree up here. And as you can see it. All right. It's all wet. This ground just does not drain at all. Need to dig a ditch on that side all the way back to the back. Help drainage, and then I need to, if we can get across this without sinking in. What a mess. Here's the old chicken coop. They had some, just had some laying hens. Got to work on the back of that uh, that shed there and level it out. You can see it's leaning one way, and I'll probably end up tearing this down. I know Sapphire talked about uh, wanting to raise chickens a bit. I don't think. Like I say, there goes the. Okay, let's go over here to the garden. Ground is rocky. You know, obviously, raised beds and these uh, landscaping timbers are kind of um, rotting away, especially that one right in here. This area. Let's see. This is. Uh, I think these are cucumbers and cantaloupe over there. No, that's cucumbers there. Cucumbers, cucumbers. One of these is something else. I can't remember. Okay, that one right there is pumpkin, the one closest to us. This, I'm not even sure. I planted something in here. It's like carrots, stuff like that. Up here will be, that's another pumpkin. Here's the one where all the surrounding wood is rotting. So 
well that bed will have to be I think I'm going to move these beds on the other side of this one so the three will go down there now what we got here this is a cantaloupe that's cantaloupe right there in between is some other <laughs> I can't even remember what I planted there squash I think maybe or something and then here's tomatoes tomato I think it's, it's a, I'm not sure what some of them are regular tomatoes some of them are cherry tomatoes some of them are grape tomato the middle ones are green peppers these are some more tomatoes I think the biggest one there closest to us I think it's a some kind of heirloom tomato the light stuff down here is a uh, lettuce but I'm not sure how well that's going and this is a watermelon so that takes care of that I'm gonna have to probably readjust this camera a little bit I need to also learn how to uh, Anyway, oh man, it's ready for mowing again. And I just got done mowing it not long ago. You see some limbs that I've cut and cut down over there. I just I'll decide how I'm gonna do with it. And you can see back there with the cows and the other people's land. And you can see the water over here. Back out in there. Okay, let's see. Like the area right here I'm at is kind of, you can see it, it's a little hilly right in that area. Right in that area is just really swampy like. Just settling down in there. So I do need to, and like I said before, I think I mentioned that I think I'll cut a, need to cut a ditch on this side too to help promote drainage. Back here, actually, other than that, you yeah, see right there, Cut some of those limbs. I don't like dodging under things. And then I think you can see the standing water all over here. And there we go, just like a swamp. Yeah, this whole area back here is just nothing to soak. Then this back area here, side porch. You just see the water standing there. You gotta cut that thing, get that to where that'll drain too. You can see it just right there. Okay, can we get through this? Oh, what a mess. This is just really bad here. And the reason why this is so bad, is because we got a lot of this rain that comes from the house. We built up that at least. I need to clean out some of that dirt or grass that's growing in there and then there's the drain so all that I need to dig a ditch from where this is all the way down back there to the fence and this is rocky ground so you start digging and then You have rocks you got to ship away so that means I'd have to get some way to dig that ditch or pay somebody and then also chip away the rocks or till but uh, that will be okay here we go get that up okay and then we got a bunch of uh I don't know what do you call them gophers moles I don't know what if they are they're just the ground is just soaked I'll be a sit there. And I have to touch that screen. I got to set this up to where the screen don't go off because I don't take long, long videos. And right now I'm just walking in a swampy area. This is all swampy. And there's one mark. Now that's not our land, our property marker, our property 
we got this other half lot and you can see a little red one way down there I think that's probably this property okay and then I started mowing but it's just too wet down here now to mow that tree is not good and got a couple of squirrels living in it let's take a look at the front from here I need to get a uh, riding mower it's nice and windy out today that'll help dry up a little bit I wonder, if, I wonder if the sound shuts up with, uh, with me going through this squishy ground. See there's standing water right in here. And right over there. Now... Boy, oh, I tell you, that's nasty. I'd like to get that. I don't know how I'd get that to drain. You really have to dig something to go over to that side and dig that drainage thing. I mean, this is a... I mean, you'll be able to see this tree is not... good. It's a what? I'm trying to remember, uh, not acorn, uh, pecan tree. Uh, I guess, yeah, pecan. Squirrels love it. And you can see down here, that just bumped. It's not right on this. And you can see down there, all these trees. Since I can't get a really good grip on the soil, and the roots don't go deep, and then the water stands there, the uh, you get that uh, what? Um, I guess the roots, the roots are rock, uh, rotting. Okay, they put some uh, put a water meter here. Right now it's not running through here, but we need to run it from here and connect it over there to where the water supply line goes. Not worried about it. Okay, let's go over here. I did some uh, trimming of these off this fence line so I could mow it. This is with that uh, Ryobi, Ryobi, uh, what, 40 volt self propelled push mower. And you can see this whole area here where the ground is. It is just terrible. I need to get a uh, kind of gravel in here, but then again, don't want to put gravel out there and it all wash down there. Here's some just trash. These, these trees right here put out this stuff. I gotta check my gutters in the house because there's this little, I don't know what you call it. When I get to the porch, we'll see it. But. I'm not even sure if the green is on. There it goes. <laughs> and there's the branches I cut off of the fence line. See, right here is one place it wants to drain naturally. Down through there. If I could cut a ditch along this fence line all the way down there. Now, who knows? Oh, it should be. It looks like it's lower over there. Way down there past the fence where it should just drain in the other people's property. Okay, you can see here is another place it wants to drain naturally. Let's get down there and point this at it. You can see it goes down there. We've got our bags. Some of these trees I'll be cutting up anyway. Okay. 
Alrighty. Sun's, <coughs> sun's coming out. It's about 75 when it came out here. Like I mentioned, as you can see, the see we need to kind of we need to also build something around it so the sun doesn't hit directly in the summertime which cuts on its efficiency at least that's what I've been told okay those all those trees right there are going to be cut down one's already dead way in the back there these other two are going to come down too I just don't like dodging trees like that when it when I'm mowing okay uh, that one just carry that shed over there has got my uh containers in it with stuff that's not going in the house right now here is and I have no idea how thought we thought about making this into a uh, little playhouse for sapphire right now like I said it's covering catching all my stuff Got a chainsaw there for that other tree that fell. I, I didn't point at when I did when we had, had the fellas paid the fellas to knock it down for me. Paid for a lunch for them. And you can see how this let's see. Excuse me, how it's tilted. Okay. Well we can't do much with the car over here. RAV4 Hybrid 2022. Do what we can. Okay, and this window up here, I've got the screen for it. Right now it doesn't have the screen in it. Now you can see I need to power wash this house. So that's another thing I need to get. Oh yeah. The foundation here needs to be worked on. It's been needed to be worked on for a long time because it's settling. And you can see on this side where we need it, how there is a gap down there. need to get some uh what do they call that hydraulic cement that kind of expands as it dries all along down that whole foundation area needs to be done boy it's a long way okay the door on that needs to be worked on the door on the uh the shed okay now the RAV4 let's see how this shows up or let this okay I mean a person could just go online and look at it I guess but yeah, it's a leaf huh There's something no that's just a shiny okay it's looking okay it's taking a while to get used to it. So, there's that winding sound whining sound that I get out of it when I uh when we go into reverse. There's the back. Temporary plates. I'm waiting for the uh, registration to come in so I can get pay the taxes and uh, get the registration done. And that's down the side of it. Okay, and I got it. Well, I didn't specifically say it. This just happened to be one that was going to a different dealership. He's just telling me that, well, we got one from a different dealership, but since it sold, so I thought I would buy it. And so I just accepted whatever it had on it. It would be like uh, it had mud flaps, I guess. And they don't come with it, I guess. So, yeah, I just noticed that they got the. I wonder if that. Oh, no. Now uh, they put some kind of thing in the tire, nitrous or something. Oh, I got it locked. I don't have my key on me. So I have to do the inside some other time. I'm going to go on the porch and get my key. And right now it seems to be the one that we're going to put under this just for the sake of this time of year, possible hail damage. Okay, you can see right here it needs to work. We've got too much standing water right in here so this will need to be dug up put, 
how you get up beneath that and do it. There's just a lot of work that needs to be done. And there's like, a, you got these little, obviously it needs to be power washed. Porch needs to be power washed. Because when it does get rained on, that slimy feeling on that, it's dangerous. I wish they had put a roof over this. As you can see, I need to get up on the gutters. That's a mess, ain't it? Overfilling. So that'll be one of the next things I need to do. Whoa. Okay, I got this. Let's get down there. That wood right there is just rotted. Well, there goes my camera. It's not liking the movements I'm doing. Rotted, rotted. What about? I bought some uh, wood hardener. Oh, okay, here you go. You can see more drain crap. got that brick stuff there but I put those little poles down there to hopefully let people know oh I need to pull some leaves out from under there I need to get another water hose to run it back to the back because all I have it is to there what else I don't know about some of these bushes and brush yeah this is just that's just unacceptable that standing water any kind of rain and considering the kind of rain we've had this year and the porch to me since it's summertime I don't see much use for it and then of course more pressure washing power washing here let me get my keys since so pressure washer Try to get this place to drain a little bit better. Decide what I'm gonna do. Well, let's go back to that tree. Can't really see it, but you can see the lean of it. And you can see the tree way back there that I had those guys knocked down. I need to cut it up. White stickers show the, the direction that the water line's supposed to go connect to the other one whatever get around it I guess these are one of the things as long as I have my keys on me it'll automatically unlock and we'll find out I'm pretty sure that's what it does gotta be careful about not banging the there it goes okay let's see is this changing so you can see it's got the RAV4 it's got that blind spot monitoring these little lights there it'll come on if somebody's in your blind spot there that is. I guess that's a seven, eight, 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 eight. Uh, They do have the nine inch screens, but that would just be awful gaudy looking. So well, anyway, yeah, I don't know. I got some uh, little throw blankets for in here. Let Sapphire pick them out. And then it's the front driver's seat is fully electric. Okay, it's not letting me into that. I guess I gotta unlock the whole thing. I wonder if there's an unlock right there. Okay, now the back should be unlocked, right? Yeah. Okay. Got some water in here. Probably need to put it in the back. Now this is where Sapphire's eating. I have her eat out of that tray. We've got her set of headsets that stay here. Um, a charging port for her. paper towels. There's some toilet paper. There's a way on this door. It's supposed to be able, if you got babies or something that you can flip something on it. Maybe it's on the front, but or is it that right right there? I think. Yeah, I probably can't see it. It's supposed to be, you flip it down and then it can't unlock the door. Only can be unlocked with, from the front or something. 
and it's automatic now right now I've got this thing in here because I plan on cutting some wood over my uh, lean land okay toilet paper so on and so forth and of course that bag so you get by uh, grocery shopping go ahead and just notice that what is that this is the handle when you pull on it or you can just press what that and it'll shut temp tags I'll be happy I'll get be a little bit less stress when I have permanent tags on here here's buddy okay okay there's one blanket we got two, yeah, we got two at sapphire pick them up one for the back one well anywhere can be you can see sapphires up here kicking the backs of these seats already here's her cup that stays in this one so if she hits a soft drink or whatever on the road she'll pour it into that so don't spill it what else um that and then that like i said where she eats food that will be on her lap okay good it's got like i say had the i'm not a big fan of those roof, roof rack things and i guess they can come off but i feel like dealing with it and there's once again let's see blind spot monitor i do like that just got to get used to using it And then here's inside and all my paperwork until I get it done. The other thing, yeah, that last door takes a little bit of a push sometimes because the what do you call it? Pressure from the the seals, I guess. Okay, wipers. And I guess that's about it. For that. Other than maybe video driving it. Ain't no reason to even look under the hood, I don't figure. Ain't no way I could do any work in there. Oil's changed for all from the bottom, I think. That and the filter. Okay, here we go. Trying to get through this water. What's that stuff down there? Is that ferns? Anyway, whatever I had the lady before. She had this old bed thing. I guess something's supposed to crawl up on it. And there's my other vehicle. Now this is going to be cut down. Whatever it is, I have no idea what that is. I'm not sure about these other ones up front. Sapphire seems to like that, uh, what, Weeping Willow thing. Okay, we got some, uh, let's see, can I, plants out here, roses, I guess roses. And then here's some flowers she put in, supposed to be flowers here. Obviously, she put some flowers on that one too. She didn't do a very good. Uh, alrighty, there's that. Need to get a chain on that door. I bought one so that door doesn't just slam and bang. And that uh, glass door. There's one one of these plants out here put up real beautiful flower. I think it's this one right here. It's a nice flower. So that'll probably stay. That's. I have no idea what that is. That down there will probably be brushed, cut it up, I mean. It's got something growing in it. I don't know if from, the, from that or what. Oh, they just flowers from something else. The brush, the tree, I, I'm pretty sure it'll go. Not sure about some of these other ones either. Okay before my that's another thing they when they leave off Nathan and uh, Seth leave off in the morning a lot of times I forget to shut this glass door and it wakes me up or alarms me from it banging 
Okay, you can see the corners a lot of these need to be worked on. And the and the whole trailer tilts. This end is is lower and a lot of our doors just open up that direction. So it really needs to be jacked up and it, to me in my eyes I don't know. It's yeah, it's be the whole thing. So I need to crawl under there anyway and I'm going to have to put a water hose to the back so I can reach the garden. We got some flowers growing here. Some roses, yellow roses. All right, there goes the door. Bam. That chair right there is just about ready. Okay, I've got this other post here. Oh, what do you want to call it? Not really a post. Thing sticking up, letting you know that this section is rotted away. And to watch your step, basically. Okay just that's so much to do our lights we got one that's automatic and one that isn't i need to get another one of those that'll go off and on automatically and somebody reach gets to a certain destination there's sapphire's bedroom it's here for the sake of uh her to be able to get out of here egress in just case there's a fire we thought about the other room over there but Yeah, I got to get up there and take and do those gutters. Okay, I guess that takes that. And uh, it's warming up out here. Let's grab this door. And it really don't seal. You can see the bottom there. It doesn't seal well. There's 